Hello and welcome to another Macro Monday. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Rainox M250. If this rain holds off because it's literally just started raining. So we've just had the winter solstice and we're officially in winter now. And winter for me is probably my favorite time of the year just in general not just photography but the cold nights the rain and just being in watching the telly is just something warming about it that i really enjoy and for photography it's the long shadows that's created by the sun being so low in the sky it's the cold frosty mornings it's the mist that rises up in the mornings and when you step outside and that cold air hits you. The downside to the winter is the ability to be able to shoot macro insects as easily as you can in the summer. So not to be outdone by winter, I was determined to shoot something living and that's why I'm here today to shoot the algae, moss and lichen that grow on these trees. And with the help of the Rainox M250, I'm really hoping to get some interesting shots. What I want to do is I want to get these trees or these branches of these trees where it's all covered in moss. I want to see as, uh, if I can get an interesting image out of that. And what I mean by that is a bit abstract sort of image where it's like so close to it that you would, you'd know what it was, but you wouldn't know the scale and um, to try and get an interesting composition with that. Um, the Rainox, 250 I believe gives you a 40% magnification um, on top of whatever it is you're shooting with so um, that should be quite interesting to see how good the images come out and whether there's any image whether there's any image and whether there's any image degradation from adding something to the front of your lens so adding the Rainox to the front of the lens means that you don't lose any light so you don't have to worry about increasing your flash outputs and and um, changing all your settings you can keep your normal settings and it just gives you that extra boost of magnification so i'm going to try it out on these uh twigs with all the moss it's actually quite interesting as to how intricate the details on this moss is so look, just like my frost video if you looked at if you watched the frost video which i'll put a link up here somewhere for the frost video um, you can see how intricate the frost is on that and i think the closer you can get to it the more interesting the image will be so i'm going to try and pull out some interesting images using the Rainox 250 or the m250 and my canon ef 100 macro i really wasn't holding out much hope for the Rainox. i mean after all i was sticking an 80 pound piece of glass on a thousand pound lens there had to be some image degradation, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. After getting back and reviewing the images in Lightroom, I couldn't believe how good the images looked.
this isn't the video I was planning to make this week. So this week's video uh, was supposed to be a complete review of the Raynox. Um, but this uh, for today I'm just testing it out because I don't really have the time um, because I've got to get this out for tomorrow's video and it's sunset like 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago. So I've not got long to get some images. Um, and the reason for that is because I've had a chest infection the whole of Christmas and it's kind of going away now, but I'm still coughing quite a bit and just trekking up these hills and that has just taken it out of me. So it's just a quick video this week, um, but the images uh, is something I was planning on getting in uh, generally because I think, the, the, the like I said before, the int intricacy of the uh, moss and um, the way it, it forms around the branches and whatnot is something I think is quite interesting. So I think I'm really looking forward to seeing these images back in uh, back in Lightroom and I'll pop them up on the screen. They've probably been, I've probably already popped them up. Um, yeah, so I'll get some more images. <clears throat> quite hard to tell, but the light is fading quite fast. Although the camera does a good job of exposing the image So there are, well, there's an advantage to shooting macro, um, and that is that you pretty much always use a flash. So you can come out and there's hardly, I mean, I don't know what the phone picks up, how it enhances the uh, scene, but there, there's not a lot of light left in the um, sky at the moment. And because I'm using a flash, obviously I don't need to rely on the light. The only thing the only drawback is that I do need the light to see what I'm photographing in the first place. So I might look at putting a uh, fixed light on here and seeing how that works and see what using a fixed light over a flash would do. I know it's not going to be as the same, but it might be worth having a go. So I might just give that a go and I'll do that in another video. Because it took me so long to film the epic b-roll at the beginning of this film I was starting to run out of ambient light really fast and at this point I was starting to struggle to even see the object in the viewfinder I'm not focus stacking any of these images. I'm just gonna, I'm just taking a single shot. And what I might do is I might take a sample back um, and focus stack using the, um, the focus rail. And I can do a review of that at the same time. Thank you. 
So I've just come back to the car to finish this last bit because I don't know what it is, but it's like it's a surprise to me that, it, that when the sun goes down, it gets dark. But I, I felt like I had loads of ambient light and then all of a sudden I was just shooting in the dark and I had to get my torch out. Um, so I'm glad I had that with me, actually, because I actually walked back in the dark. It's pitch black. Um, so I've just come back to the car to finish this. Now, the Raynox I will be reviewing properly I, I, I this is the first time i've used it today um i have been ill so i haven't had a chance to get out much so i'll do a proper review of that maybe not next video maybe the video after i'm not sure so keep an eye out for that one i'm also going to do the next video i'm doing is a complete um not review um what's the word a complete not a guide sort of uh, introduction on macro photography and how you can get started so keep an eye out for that one if you did like these images, then please do let me know in the comments. I'm hoping, like I say, I haven't gone back and looked at them in Lightroom yet, so I don't know how well the Raynox performed, but I'm looking at the back of the camera, I'm optimistic. I'm hoping that um, it's gonna be a good little tool to, and add on. If you like the video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please do consider giving it a thumbs down. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing because uh, our new videos are coming out. And on a Friday, I think I've settled on a Friday, um, I do landscape videos and, and various other types of videos because my brain doesn't allow me to focus just on macro because I get bored too easily. So as long as I've got something else going on and I can do the two videos a week, I'll get some macro on the Monday and then on the Friday I'll get some other stuff just to settle my brain down because, you know, we've got to got to keep the brain happy um yeah and i will catch you on the next one